What is going on, Eye Warriors? So today, I'm going to talk about something interesting. Um, your body fat. Why is it stubborn? What does it do? How does it get stored? And how does it come out of your body? So it's basically the whole thing. So you could kind of understand and get a, a, a better grasp of, of your body fat. All right, so the way that body fat works is that there are multiple different, these little cells inside of your body called adipocytes. Now, contrary to what people believe, body fat is not just gunk that just builds up in, in, in the epidermis or below the skin, which is the subcutaneous fat or the visceral fat, which is around the organs. It's not just gunk all on its own. It's multiple multiple millions and millions and millions of uh, adipocyte cells that actually expand and shrink. They never go away, believe it or not. So by the age of 20 or 21, the amount of body fat cells or adipocytes that you will have in your body are locked in terms of the number, right? So it's very important when you're younger to have a really good diet because or not a good diet, but not overeating excessively because what happens is you create more fat cells to accommodate for that um, as opposed to when you, you know, when you get older. So what ends up happening at, once it's locked, uh, those are the fat cells, generally speaking, that you will have in your body for the rest of your life. Now, just because you have a bunch of fat cells, someone, for example, could have way more fat cells than like person A could have more fat cells than person B. But person B um, is is bigger, is is has more body fat mass on them than person A, because person A, although they have a bunch of fat cells, it's not about how much fat cells you have. It's about how much fat cells are enlarged with the triglycerides inside of them. And that triglyceride is basically the energy that's being stored from the foods that you're eating. So there are two types of fat cells within all of those different fat cells. There's the beta cell, fat cell, the beta adipocyte, and the alpha adipocytes. The alphas tend to lie more in your arms and your face, but the betas are more likely um, uh congregated around the stomach region, the thigh region. The betas are much more stubborn when it comes to releasing triglycerides, breaking them up and giving them to you as energy. While the alphas are more uh, easier to tap into and, and just, you, you know, shrink, release the, the, the triglycerides, shrink and give that energy out. Now, that is one of the reasons why so that you understand is when you're losing weight, you tend to lose weight in your face and your arms, but not so much in your stomach. You'll lose some because everything is a mixture, right? There's just more beta cells in the in the body, in the belly and thighs. Doesn't mean that there's only beta cells there. Uh, so you'll you'll notice something weird. For example, you'll lose weight in your face and your arms, but then when you regain weight, you'll regain some more in your stomach and then a little bit more in your face and your arms, or you'll do your face and your arms quick, uh, but the stomach just seems to never be moving as quickly or nearly as quickly as your face and your arms in terms of, you know, uh, releasing the, the, the body fat, right? So, so a lot of people just give up because they're losing weight, but it's harder for the belly fat to go away, which is why you always see, you know, videos where people are talking about how to lose belly fat specifically as like you know a big deal like they get so much views because people are trying to figure that out without understanding that really the best tool to lose the belly fat is just keep going uh the the problem is that people stop before they get to the point where they're losing a substantial amount of belly fat because that at some point your body fat has no choice but to pull from the belly fat because you've pulled from all the other places and there's not many uh, body, there's not much body fat left in other places that it, that where your body can use that efficiently for energy and then it starts tapping into the belly fat. So really, just if you keep going, you will, you know, eventually get there. And for everyone, it's, it's different. Um, <clears throat> also, how you lose 
energy where does it go right where does it go for a lot of people they think that you just poop it out oh it just goes into my poop and i poop it out or i sweat it out like i just sweat out all the fat the fat comes off from sweat and it poop poop and sweat both of those things put together there you go uh that that's how my body fat comes out of my body so a lot of people just focus so much on just sweating so they'll do things like they'll put on like these sweat suits and all that stuff now the sweat suits and and all these things they help you lose water weight some some fat it goes off from 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 the sweat suit but mainly it's water that you're releasing but because water is directly connected to what we see on the scale in a dramatic way, more dramatic than even body fat, as you could get swings of five pounds and six pounds in one night, simply from water fluctuation, people think that there's a, the illusion that they're doing the right thing by burning all of that water, by releasing all of that water. But really, you don't have to think about all that stuff. You just have to focus on energy calories in versus calories out. Why? Because around 85% of the body fat that gets taken out of the, your body, that's released from your body, basically turns into a CO2 and it's you breathe it out. So your breath is where most, almost 85% of the body fat that's coming out of your body comes from. You also, you also uh, pee it out a, a little bit as well, but 85% of the release of your body fat after it's used for energy, because energy cannot be you know completely de uh, destroyed or it has to go somewhere. So it turns into CO2, goes into the plants and all that stuff. That's really what happens. You breathe it out. Most of the body fat that you have gets, you breathe it out. Now, if you're thinking about what about liposuction? What happens with liposuction? Isn't that removing the fat cells? It is. It is. But your body is smarter than that. When the fat cells get removed from liposuction, they get replaced. And every time your fat cells are also not always alive. Sometimes they die and then they get replaced. They get the, the, the taken out and replaced with another one to maintain your set number that your body's created by the age of 21 so, so just keep that in mind it's always even if you're a parent for example try to make sure that your kids are not uh overeating excessively because it's going to be harder for them when they become adults but hopefully this is an understanding of body fat to help you kind of navigate a little bit the world of losing weight without focusing so much on oh how much sweat am i going to lose today so that i can lose all that sweat of fat coming off of me when it that's not the fat right it's that isn't um uh, at all some of it very small amount but really peeing is more actually than 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 sweating and definitely breathing is is basically where most of your fat goes uh when you when you burn it uh, but also that there's an understanding of why your belly fat is so stubborn and that maybe it's just an interesting way of knowing that it isn't just gunk just building up. It's a legitimate cell that it expands and decreases, expands and shrinks, expands and shrinks. And when it shrinks, that's all of the cells. You can have all the fat cells in your body and be super lean. It just means that the majority of your fat cells are shrunken. If you eat and start gaining weight, they'll start expanding and put triglycerides in and they all start just over the time collectively expanding. And then that's when you see, you know, the body fat um, on your body. So hopefully this video was in interesting and also helpful for your mo motivation when it comes to understanding how body fat works. So until the next one, guys, I'll see you on Wednesday.